and uh, you know, I just couldn't pass it up. Brand new in the box like that. Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Rob, also known as Chesapeake Picker. I'm a part-time reseller based out of Virginia. Currently, it is Monday while I'm shooting this. I got uh, quite a few things that went out, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of those. First thing I got up here is this book. It's uh, American Fantastic Tales. Very nice condition. I picked this up last week at Goodwill for three bucks, and it sold for $39.99 with free shipping. Next up is a set. These are the they're uh, called Ralpartha. They're like little pewter figurines. I got this out of the big lot of train stuff. It was uh, shoved in a bottom of stuff. I got this all the train, the coin collector, all that kind of stuff that I've been selling through. These were new in the package and they sold for $15 plus shipping. The other day I was not going to go out thrifting. Um, the only reason I went out that day and it was a Saturday was because the postman did not pick up my packages and I had a whole big old stack of them to ship out. But I decided since I was out, I'd shoot down the street. There's a CHKD down the street and a Goodwill that's about maybe another five to 10 minutes away from the post office. So I went down, checked it out, and I walked into CHKD and I found this, a brand new, well, I mean, the box is, is you know, all taped up and everything, but basically it was a brand new Sony uh, DVD and VCR combo. This is model SLV D350P. So this was marked up um, way more than I like to spend on stuff like this, but it was $19.99 and uh, you know, I just couldn't pass it up. Brand new in the box like that. I pulled it out. There was literally no reason to even uh, question whether or not it worked. I figured I'd just take the risk. And so I brought it home, tested it. It worked perfect. This thing looked like it had never been used. Of course, the remote's in there, the cable's in there and all that. So I, I had I decided to go a little bit higher. One of these had sold for $2.19 with free shipping. And there was none currently listed that were that high. But I decided to go ahead, take a shot, $2.19 free shipping. And it sold in just a couple days. Uh, it's only going to cost me in between $15. 15 and $20 to ship that at either UPS or FedEx. UPS is actually the cheapest, so that's probably what I'm going to go with. All right, next up I got out of M1, this movie Lady Hawk. Right. Here it is. Picked this up for a buck and it sold for $15 with free shipping. And then out of F, I got the four feathers. This is a cheap one, $5 free shipping. So I don't find a lot of stuff at this place because they tend to be pricey, but I have found good quality items. So this was a while back. I was at a DAV thrift store. I picked up two of these pen reels, uh, pen senator reels, and I picked up a pair of Jordans. I sold the Jordans for like 150 bucks. And uh, these are very nice fishing reels. I'll flash the picture up on the screen so you can see it a little better, but this is it. It's this like big metal fishing reel here, salt water, still got the booklet, the little keys, everything. So I got two of these that are basically identical. One's red, one's white. That's the only difference on them. Um, this one had the little key. I'm not really a big fisherman other than, you know, some lake bass or something like that. But I don't know anything about this stuff. I don't know if the, not having the key will hurt the other one or not. I put them up for $149 plus shipping, and I really hadn't been getting any um, interest. I had a couple watchers. I had no messaging or anything on it. I sent out a couple offers for like $125, no bite. I was thinking about lowering the price on these, but I hadn't got around to it yet, and somebody bought this today for $149 plus shipping. Regional rate, cubic rate, standard priority rates, a lot of that stuff gets to be confusing for people. So I'm going to break it down with this uh, Penn Senator reel, okay? So uh, this Penn Senator reel weighs four pounds, six ounces. I took it and I put it in a box. It's about, I don't know, like nine by six. Um, weighing it, it's only going to New Jersey, so it's really not all that expensive. So I took that and I put it in my measurements and it came up to like $8.65. So I decided to take that and I put it into an envelope. So I just used one of these Tyvek envelopes that you get for free from the post office. And I put it in there and it made no difference. for some, Because it's not going that far, the distance really wasn't all that. But sometimes this could save me a lot of money. If I was doing cubic shipping rate and I was going out to, you know, anywhere out west and stuff like that, it probably would have been about like $12 versus $9 can't say for sure because I don't have the actual measurement, but 
So I take that exact same box and I stick it in this region A box, which is gonna go out at a two pound rate. And it, well, just slightly over a two pound rate. But I just stick it in here. I can take it, put it in here exactly like this and it'll close up in here. And now it's only gonna cost me $7.68. So I could take that and I'm saving a buck. So not too bad there. I didn't really put anything special in on this one because I knew it would fit in this box come hell or high water. It was gonna go out at a two pound rate, but it is the best value. So sometimes it's the best value, sometimes it's not. Sometimes cubic rate shipping is cheaper. Sometimes regional rate is cheaper. You really just have to play around with it until you get what you need. Got this uh, Maisto pickup Chevy truck, die cast vehicle, pretty nice condition. Um, there's a couple scratches on it and stuff like that, which I highlighted in the pictures. Came with a big lot of NASCAR stuff that I got. Um, this one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. I came across this metal sign um, at a CHKD. I paid $2.98 for this. This is one of the very first things that I picked up when I started reselling again. So it's just been kind of hanging out in a bin. Hadn't really gotten any offers on it for eBay. I have the only one listed, uh, but I, um, you know, whatever is what it is. I decided to go ahead and cross list this on Mercari yesterday, and I got an offer for $16 with free shipping, and I went ahead and took it. And it's nice and light, so I'll just cardboard sandwich this, and it'll go out first class. A vinyl record. It's the Bee Gees Idea. It's here. Box is in bad shape, uh, but it's still sold for $5.99 plus shipping. And then we have DVD, The Departed, $3.99 free shipping. So I get a lot of questions about the record boxes. I know I showed this in the video a few back when um, I was talking about how to get your eBay coupon, but this is that BG's record all packed up. These are like a almost 13 by 13 box. Um, it's called a record box. I get these on eBay for free. Basically, when I use my uh, free coupon, I've got them a couple times now. But you can also get these on Amazon as well, which is where I've bought them in the past when I had sold through a bunch of records. So you can get them cheaper on Amazon. That's about, I think like 50 some dollars for a hundred of them um or they're 50 for 50 on ebay so if you can get them for free on there good if not go over to amazon i'm sure if they sell these other places like uline they don't have them on supply hut but uh if you find a better um option for them please drop it in the comments let me know but that's where i get them from all right guys thanks for checking out the channel as always please hit that like button subscribe down below drop me any questions or comments i'll get to them in a future video until then i will see you guys in the next one Thank you.